What's going on, everybody, and welcome to Brutal Planet Comics. I am your host, Dre the Brute Daniels. I am super excited to be dropping my very first podcast episode on YouTube. Matter of fact, I haven't dropped stuff on YouTube in so long. I'm I know I'm rusty, but I'm going to push through it, and I hope it's gonna be awesome. Either way, so uh, this fine episode is going to be the first of a long running segment called brutal rants in which i take a particular subject in the comic community or movies or what have you and i try my best to not lose my mind while i am discussing it and uh hopefully i don't have a brain aneurysm so this week's topic is oh dear god Drum roll, please. If it even deserves a drum roll. Ba, 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 ba. Yes. We're going to be talking about Batwoman. <laughs> God almighty. We're going to be talking about Batwoman. Now, I know that this show is low hanging fruit. So, I'm going to do everything in my power to not bash it completely yes i know i know i know i know i'm gonna try my best but i make no promises zero promises so this show has been beaten to death by a lead pipe over and over again by just about every youtuber i can even imagine um but this week we're gonna try something different we're going to try to figure out who was the target audience for this show now, what do I mean by that? Who was this show written and made for? Like, if you see a vegan restaurant that serves all these vegetables and whatnot, who are they targeting? Vegan. McDonald's is targeting who? Stoners and drunk folks. So, therefore, they know their target audience and they're going to start using certain things to draw them in. Who was this show trying to get the attention of think about it who what the hardcore comic readers nah that can't be accurate because uh they told comic readers to go this ain't for them maybe woman population maybe maybe they were trying to do a front runner for a lady and like hey we're gonna have a woman front runner and we're gonna attract the ladies no, no, it couldn't have been for them either because women like good storytelling too. This show was dripping with identity politics and every other movement you can possibly think of. The only movements I believe in are bowel movements. So this was not for me either. Maybe they were trying to attract the alphabet community. But that seemed to have failed too. So who exactly... Were you targeting? If your show is about comics, but you don't want comic people involved, or you don't want people that enjoy comics involved, you know what? Forget that. Forget you don't want the mainstream audience involved. Because uh, this is what I'm, I'm going to say. I do not like the channel TLC that has whatever 90 Day Fiancés or what whatever whatever shows are on there. But let me tell you something. Those stories. Are at least stories they're trying to tell something whether it's through drama or nonsense or whatever else they're trying to tell something this mess here has no story whatsoever this is one of the worst things i've ever laid my eyes on it was a complete waste of my time it's horrible it made me throw up several times in my mouth but that's not what i'm here to talk about who was the target audience the answer is no one. Not one person was this target audience. Now, I'm going to explain myself in a little bit. But first, I want to talk about this character for a second. The Batwoman character. Not this one. I, 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 I don't want to talk about that one. I want to talk about this one. The original Kate Kane. Now, under no circumstance was I a fan of the original Batwoman. I'm not. I've read maybe one or two issues. But I got a pretty pretty firm grip on who she is as a character and whatever 
this mess is was not her. This nonsense, Kate Kane and what was that Ryan Wilder, whichever ones they whatever they are, they're both narcissistic, monstrous, destructive, arrogant pieces of garbage. And there's no huh. fault on these actresses. There's no fault on theirs. The writing. Your writer's team is trash. 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 And it's insulting. You all should be ashamed. Everybody at CW should be ashamed. God, the show is tech. God, why am I talking about this thing? The show is bad. Oh my god. My heart rate going up. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to talking about this Kate Kane. The one that I can actually respect. Now, this character was actually a character and not just a bunch of stereotypes in a bottle. Like, yes, she was a little cocky, she was a little arrogant, sure, but she had a sense of right and wrong. She she was a hero. She put herself on the line. And the relationship that she had with her father was some of the best I've seen in Batman comics. The relationship, their love-hate relationship, and how how they're meshing and how they fell apart. And it's it's actually pretty good reading. This trash. I... I, I can't, uh, okay, whatever. Okay, all right, so, all right, I've, I've said my piece. We all know the show is garbage. It's not even worth the vomit that dogs lick up. We know this, but let's get down to brass tacks. How did this show do visually and through, I don't know, TV? So let's take a look at some of these ratings for... <laughs> Okay, let's look at Bat the Batwoman. Oh, God. Batwoman season one's ratings. So it opened up with a million eight hundred sixty. Brand new show, so it makes sense. So then it starts to decline, 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 decline. Then right here on December 9th was the Crisis on Infinite Earths episode. So then, so everybody started watching it because you know you gotta keep track of the show of of the whole series line. But right after it was over, it lost a million people. Stop watching this garbage. Allow me to repeat myself. One million people. Stop watching this schlock trash. It... Why am I putting myself through this? You came here to die. It's an abomination. Anyway, let's just keep going. Let's keep going. So it drops to under, so under a million, never recovers. Grand finale was 739,000 people was the final, was, was the average for this show. So, excuse me, that was the finale, 739,000 people. And the finale season average, excuse me, was under a million. That's horrible. Horrible. So then Ruby Rose quits. God is listening. So let's just see if they were able to bounce back from season two, which of course added every movement except the bow one. And let's see how the ratings went there. Let's see if people started watching because of all the all the politics that's dripping in. Let's have a look. Uh oh, this thing might even not load. All right, yep. All right, so season two. Let's see what its opening day was. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <coughs> oh god my lungs oh okay so opening was 659,000 people <laughs> this is an internationally syndicated show this show goes from America to China Billions, potential billions of people to watch. 659,000. So, whoever they were targeting, which is no one, stopped watching from season one. The finale from season one was 739,000. Season two, 659. Then it starts dropping. And a brief spike drops to 509,000, 409,000. Look at these numbers. They're plummeting. These are international numbers. 
413,000 for your finale. The finale! 413,000 people. Season average. Look at this abomination. 495,000 people. What's your average for internationally syndicated show? Unbelievable. But somehow, some way, somehow, some way, you know what? This show's getting a third season. <laughs> Literally, Warner Brothers, CW, CBS, whoever that owns these properties is losing billions. Billions. And they're going to bring this show back. I'm going to give you all an example and see if you can follow me. Let's say I am your landlord. And on this property, you have a business. And let's say your business is selling bicycles. But you live in an area in which no one buys them. And the whole year, not only did you lose money for yourself, I lost money because you can't pay me my rent. I come to you and say, where's daddy's money? You say to me, oh, you know, I, it just didn't work out. We got the wrong target. We didn't do anything. We didn't do well at all. You know what I'm going to say? Pack your garbage. Get out. But do you know what Warner Brothers and CBS and CW and whoever else, you know what they said? Oh, we see your show failed twice. Go ahead. I'm going to give you a third season. We know we're losing money. We're losing millions. We're losing billions. We're losing sponsorships. We're losing everything. But yeah, just have another, have another. Oh, but we're going to take you out of the coveted Sunday night spot and we're going to put you on the weekday. What are you, nuts? Ah, oh, God. I'd rather watch a show with like hand puppets just doing this on a Sunday night, then watch this schlock. This mess is an abomination. It, 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 it. My God, I think my brain just burnt out. It's one of the worst things I've ever seen. I want, it's one of the worst things I've ever seen. It, and, and how insulting this show is to every audience. I don't care what your demographic background is, man, woman, Black, white, Latino, whatever. doesn't matter. Whatever your demographic is. One thing we all have in common is that we like good storytelling. Even if you're trying to beat us across the head with identity politics or whatever. This person's wrong or whatever. Tell a good story. You told me nothing. Excuse me. You told me less than nothing. Nothing would have been something. You just beat me over the head. What a waste. What, what a waste. Try. So, we get back to my big question. Who is this show for? It is for no one, as we know. Then what is this show for? It's not to entertain. It's not to inform. What is it? Allow me to show you what it is. Public service announcement. This show is a 40 minute long public service announcement about nothing. Nothing. Virtue signaling for 40 minutes every Sunday. Now, for those that have been living under a rock, a public service announcement is when you're watching your favorite show and then you'll hear the sound go, Bob, Bob. Granddad has gone missing and has wandered off into the woods. That's a public service announcement. You know how long it lasts? Between 15 and 30 seconds. You know what we do? Like, oh man, somebody's got to find that grandpa. But then right when the joint's over, guess what? We're back watching cartoons. They've bought up a time slot for a 40 minute long public service announcement. Trash! my blood pressure going up unbelievable it's unbelievable so if anybody 
I don't know who, was thinking about watching the show. This is the only sign I have for you. Do not enter. This show is trash. It's an abomination. And I hate it. I hate it so much. I think my nose is starting to run. My body is literally breaking down thinking about this garbage. Good Lord. Good Lord, good Lord, good Lord, good Lord. Get, the, get these ratings out of my face. Get this trash out of here. Hope you enjoyed the vid. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on all those social media platforms that you see over there. Um, I'd love to hear what you think about the video. Um, yeah. I, I would love to do more of these. If you guys like them, I'll keep doing them. Keep, you know, lowering my life expectancy for your viewing pleasure. Because one thing I like to do is entertain. Ooh, anyway, that's yeah. all I got for today. You all take care. Catch you on the next one. Also, if you want to support my channel, uh, check out spinwiz.com or download the Spinwiz app and check out my comic series, Trouble. It was written with a lot of love and it was definitely my favorite comic series to write. I've also written it in English and in Spanish. So whatever floats your boat, I got it for you. Thanks again and check it out.